Nissan Aria. Best Actor Radius versus On Direct Competitor Fisker Ocean. As an influx of new models flood the market, the tide is turning for electric vehicles, and Fisker Automotive looks to capitalize on that sentiment with its aptly named Ocean SUV. Whereas Nissan is expanding its line of electric vehicles with the 2023 Aria SUV, which will go on sale in the United States in the fall of 2022. The Aria will join the Leaf hatchback in Nissan showrooms, offering up to 300 miles of driving range, which is more than the Leaf's maximum of 226 miles. Which one do you think? is the better one well don't take the decision just yet as we are here to tell you a little bit about more each of the individual models then you can decide which one's your favorite so hello techies and welcome back to tech electric where we give you the latest updates related to evs and automobile companies hence today we've brought nissan's aria for you all so let's get into the video without any further ado all other oceans are equipped with all-wheel drive dual motor system that produces at least 540 horsepower and speeds to 60 miles per hour in less than four seconds. The most powerful version is intended to travel over 350 kilometers on a single charge. The 2023 Fisker Ocean is not just a gorgeous SUV in the manner of the Range Rover Evoque, but it also has some unique available features. A 17.1-inch central touchscreen that rotates vertically and horizontally is noteworthy, as is a mode that opens the roof panel all side windows and the back glass to simulate the wind swept feel of a convertible. Only time will tell whether the ocean's range ratings, performance boasts, and parlor tricks will pique the interest of the Tesla obsessed audience. Talking the Aria's design reflects a departure from Nissan's current sharp angular forms featured on many of its vehicles. The Aria's low, wide stance distinguishes it from the Rogue and provides it with a sportier appearance. There will be two battery capacities available, a 63 kilowatt hour basic battery and an optional 78 kilowatt pack, as well as a front or all wheel drive. A slew of driver assist systems, infotainment technology and convenience amenities will be standard, allowing the 2022 Aria to compete with similarly sized EV crossovers like the Tesla Model Y and Hyundai Kona Electric. But what is new in 2023? Fisker Automotive's 2023 Ocean is an all-electric SUV. According to the company's website, select models will be available later this year. The Aria, on the other hand, is an entirely new car for Nissan. It includes Nissan's latest semi-autonomous driving technology, ProPilot 2.0, which debuted on the Nissan Skyline sedan in Japan. The Aria is touted to have a driving range of up to 300 miles when fitted with the optional dual front rear motor drive system and the larger 87 kilowatt hour battery pack. Now let's see its pricing. Fisker has released initial pricing for the full Ocean portfolio. However, the corporation has not stated how much the destination cost will be, so we can only estimate the starting price of each trim. Initially, we believe the Ocean Ultra is the best value, thanks to its all-wheel drive drivetrain and more desired standard equipment, whereas Aria's beginning price of $47,125 places it above the Leaf and other inexpensive EVs, but below the Model Y's base pricing. We believe that range is essential for effectively transitioning from gasoline to electricity, so we'd go with the entry-level Venture Plus trim, which has the longest driving range of Aria's four trim levels. Now, viewers, it's time to check its electric vehicle motor, power, and performance. The Sport model is the entry point into the 2023 Ocean portfolio, with a single electric motor powering the front wheels. With 275 horsepower on top, it should go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 6.9 seconds. The Ultra and Extreme, as well as the Limited Edition 1, use an electric motor on each axle, resulting in all-wheel drive. The fastest variant, with a total system output of up to 550 horses, is expected to sprint from a standstill to 60 miles per hour in 3.6 seconds. All variants have 20-inch wheels with low rolling resistance tires. There's also a set of performance tires fitted on 22-inch rims available. The Front Drive Ocean is certified to tow 2,040 pounds, while all-wheel drive models can tow 4,000 pounds. Unlike the Leaf, which has only front-wheel drive, Nissan is leveraging technology established in other vehicles, such as the GTR Sports Cars Torque Split System, to offer optional all-wheel drive via a dual front-rear electric motor combination. According to Nissan, front-wheel drive models have a claimed 0 to 60 mile per hour pace of 7.2 seconds, but if you want more pep, consider the more powerful all-wheel drive Aria which is substantially faster. We predict that it will go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in less than 5 seconds, which is comparable to higher-end electric vehicles. 
So far, the Arias provided a peaceful, stable ride that should please most purchasers, but it lacks the dynamic nature that we driving enthusiasts enjoy. When we have the opportunity to put the Aria through its paces in the real world, we'll report back. Battery life, range, and charging. That is the most important part, and we can't avoid it. The Ocean comes with a variety of battery sizes, although Fisker is yet to reveal its usable capacity. Nonetheless, the EPA forecasts that the single motor variant will drive 250 miles on a single charge. With multiple motors, the estimated range can approach 350 miles. The Ocean is also compatible with the majority of EV charging stations, and Fisker is teamed with Electrify America to offer owners an unspecified amount of free charging. The exact charging times for the ocean have not been disclosed, but we've been told that this available roof-mounted solar panels, dubbed Solar Sky, can provide up to 2,000 miles of range per year under perfect conditions. That claim, though, remains to be seen. Where Nissan claims the Venture Plus has a driving range of up to 300 miles per charge, which is a significant improvement over the Leaf's maximum range of 226 miles. The Evolve Plus and Premier models are rated for up to 285 miles per charge, while the Platinum Plus is rated for up to 265. Similarly sized vehicles with comparable ranges are Jaguar's I-Pace and Audi's e-tron, which have 234 and 204 miles respectively. Tesla's main competitors claim ranges of more than 300 miles. The Aria will be able to charge at home using 110 or 240 volt outlets, as well as at public charging stations and DC fast charging ports. The Aria does not currently have EPA fuel economy estimates, nor has Nissan disclosed any stated MPGE values. That information will most likely become available as the Aria approaches launch. We also want to put the Aria through its paces on our 200-mile highway trip, allowing us to assess its real-world efficiency. The Ocean's interior features a simple arrangement that is offset by some simple controls, and it's lined with repurposed materials that support sustainability. Its dashboard features a thin digital gauge cluster and beautiful materials that run across it, in addition to a huge touchscreen that rotates on all but the base model. Because the entry-level Ocean is promoted as an inexpensive EV, the number of high-end standard luxuries is limited. Every model, however, includes a rear-view mirror with a digital camera feed, a power steering column, and a motorized rear lift gate. While the sport level has a fixed glass panoramic sunroof, the remainder of the lineup has a retractable panoramic glass top. When the latter's California mode is used, the roof as well as the rear and side glass are open to create a convertible-like open-air experience. We can only hope that its back seat and cargo space are more functional than those in the company's Doom sedan. The inside of the Aria appears modern and simple. Nissan's removed every button possible in search of a smooth dashboard that favors a streamlined appearance to match the outside design. Despite Nissan's promise that the Aria's cabin is unlike any other cars, its minimalistic theme appears to be its only distinguishing feature. Not that the cabin doesn't appear to be a pleasant spot to spend time. Well, that's going to do it for today's video. We sincerely hope that you enjoyed it, and please let us know in the comments down below which model do you prefer. Hey, let us know down below, and we'll be back with more videos like this one. Until then, please do like this video, and make sure you subscribe to our channel and press that bell icon too so you're always updated of our latest uploads. Hey, thanks for spending time with us today, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.